Lenovo has been making a lot of releases in the Indian market. We saw the white P1, the P1M, which were more oriented towards bigger batteries. And we've also seen the Vibex, which is the flagship uh, degree phones. But today we're going to unbox and uh, have, have the first impressions of uh, a phone that falls in between the entry level and the higher end phones. This is GK from techpp.com and this is the unboxing and first impressions of Lenovo Vibe S1. Let's go ahead. So we have a very good packing here. This has a very good uh, design aspect to it. The box looks really strong. So the Vibe S1 is gonna be a style centric phone we are told that uh, this is manufactured or this is being brought in for people who want to flaunt the devices along with some decent specs that it'll come with so the one that we have here is a blue or a purple color phone and uh, we also have seen the white color phone but for now i'll just keep this aside this also comes with a screen protector the sim ejector pen and some documentation inside the usb cable and uh, the travel adapter so coming to the phone um this also comes with a case that's a good one this is very much required because the build has a lot of glossiness into it so this phone comes with a 5 inch IPS LCD screen um, that packs in as much as 440 ppi and it also has the Gorilla Glass 3 protection on the front as well as the back because it's uh, mostly made of glass. It's shiny, looks gorgeous, looks very good but it's a fingerprint uh, magnet. There is a white version of this and uh, that's a different one because the fingerprints do not come off uh, visible as much as on this one so this comes with a mediatek uh, 6752 uh, 64-bit octa-core processor clocked in at 1.7 gigahertz and also has 3 gigs of uh, ram and 32 gigs of internal memory and uh, that can be expanded up to 128 uh, gb via um, micro sd slot which also doubles up as a dual sim holder and this has 13 megapixel camera at the back with a single led on the front we have a dual camera one is the 8 megapixel camera and the 2 megapixel camera um, which is one of the key selling propositions of the phone where uh, it takes a lot of uh, selfies in creative ways in trying to bring this feature there are certain sacrifices that are made. It, this has just 25,000 mAh battery and there are no gyroscope or the magneto sensors. We'll see how that plays. So those are the specifications and the design aspects of the phone. This comes at uh, 15,999 and uh, it's it, it's again uh, sold uh, exclusively online. So in terms of the operating system, this comes with uh, the Vibe UI that is built off uh, Android Lollipop. So let's do, look at uh, So we have here the Android Lollipop Fire Auto. This should receive an update soon. Uh, one thing you notice here is uh, we have the three capacitive buttons, but they're not backlit. Um, that's again another uh, thing that they've made in trying to cut the corners. So the Vibe UI has uh, come a long way in terms of uh, getting refined and being more smooth. But let's go back to the design aspects of the phone because that is what this is all about. Um, we have the power button and the volume rockers onto the right and if you see the edge is really smooth it's curved and when you actually hold it in the hand uh, it gives a very good feel and on the top we have uh, the 3.5 mm jack and a microphone and again on the top you, you see the curved nature in the profile that will so remind you of uh, the motorola phones again and that is where we see the influence of motorola coming into the lenovo phones on the other side, we have uh, the SIM tray that can take in you know, two SIMs and one of them will also double up as the micro SD slot. On the bottom, we have uh, the speakers and also the USB port. So overall, it's very well designed and uh, you, you actually have to hold it in the hand to see how, how uh, good it feels. It's handy coming at a uh, five inch screen. 
so this is what the vibe s1 is all about and um, alongside the pricing we also have the oneplus x the mi 4 the mi 4i and also the moto x play so in our detailed review we have certain important aspects that we'll be looking at the first one is obviously the 8 megapixel and the 2 megapixel uh, camera duo and uh, the way the battery performs and also the the overall gaming performance and things like that and also how the build holds up in real day usage the wear and tear and different things like that so do hit the like button and subscribe for uh, more interesting details on the gadget world until the next one this is gk from techpp.com signing off bye bye